Our next speaker is Representative Jim Lyons. Representative Lyons is from the 18th Essex District, representing portions of Andover, North Andover, Boxford, and Tewksbury. He was first elected in November 2010 and serves on two joint committees in the House of Representatives, Higher Education and Public Health, as well as on the House Committee on Global Warming and Climate Change. Jim is a graduate of Brandeis University and a local businessman. This past session, Jim introduced legislation to defund Common Core. Jim will speak to his concerns about Massachusetts' adoption of Common Core. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for the opportunity to speak today. And following up on what some had to say, uh, my boys think that I'm weird, so I fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> so typical Massachusetts, Governor Patrick and Mitchell Chester have decided the way to close the educational gap in Massachusetts is by lowering the ceiling. This is consistent within the Patrick administration. We have seen since 2006 Governor Patrick's ability to lower the standard throughout all government services in Massachusetts. I want to remind you about the standards that he has set within his administration. We're all familiar with the DCF scandal. We're all familiar with the EPT abuse. We're all familiar with the pharmaceutical scandal. We're all familiar with the crime lab scandal. And we're all familiar with what Governor Patrick did in the Justina Pelletier scandal. Governor Patrick and Mitchell Chester, we do not want you to lower the standards on education for our children as you have lowered the standards since you took office in 2006. Mitchell Chester joined us in 2008. He came from Ohio. And in the Harvard newspaper back in February of 2008, Mitchell Chester had a couple of things to say. I come with a broad range of experience and don't have a particular history or loyalty to any constituency in the state. Well, Mitchell Chester, we do have a loyalty to the consistence to the constitu constituents of our state. We have a loyalty to the children and the parents of Massachusetts, and we resent what you are trying to do to the children and families in Massachusetts. Mitchell Chester went on to talk about a proverb, a proverb, and he says, there's a proverb that resonates with me. If you want to go fast, go alone. And if you want to go far, go together. Well, Mr. Chester, you have not reached out or even listened to the parents of Massachusetts. We want you to follow your own Come back to the table, stop the funding of Common Core, and listen to the families in Massachusetts, Mitchell Chester. Thank you very much. I'd also take, like to take this opportunity to introduce the next speaker, my good friend, State Representative Kevin Coros. Thank you, Jim. Uh, my name's uh, Kevin Kuros. I'm the state representative from the 8th Worcester District. I represent the towns of Bellingham, Blackstone, Millville, and Uxbridge. Part of the reason I'm here today is last night, uh, my, my hometown of Uxbridge had a special town meeting. We had left our Maytown meeting with a budget that was out of balance. So we had to come back in a special town meeting to balance the budget. The biggest line item that was unbalanced in that budget was, if you can imagine, the school department. R roughly uh, between a half million and three quarters of a million dollars. The reason I share that with you today is there have been studies done and the estimate for the implementation of Common Core, one study I've seen says that it will cost $50 per child and $2,000 per educator to implement a standard that's gonna take us backwards in this state. It's not right and we need to do what we can to stop it. Now there's a saying, it goes back many, many years. 
that says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. By what evaluation, objective or subjective, can you say that having the number one performing kids in the, in the United States is broken? Our system is not broken. We don't need to fix it. We're leading the nation in education. Uh, Representative Lyons mentioned that Commissioner Chester joined us from the state of Ohio. I recently came across an article uh, where his successor uh, had some pretty interesting quotes. He essentially alluded to the fact that Ohio standards had slipped and they need to improve their standards. Guess what he said he wants to model Ohio's new standards after? MCAS. All right. So once again, I think what we see, or someone is going to have to pick up the pieces uh, for Commissioner Chester's poor guidance on this issue. Please do what you can. Talk to your friends. Talk to your neighbors. This is incredibly important and incredibly serious. Thank you so much for coming today, and thank you for listening to me speak. Thank you, Kevin.